last questions. You know, I can remember in, in budget debates when there used to be a Department of Economic Development, and we were often saying, what's the difference between what the work that is done by it was then intergovernmental affairs. It's the same department, it's just had a number of different names. Uh, and what's done by economic development, I mean, they seem to have the same mandates in a lot of, of cases. And here, I'm saying, what's the difference between the work that's being done by this council and the work that's being done by the department now anyway? Um, and are we doubling in our allocation of, of resources? Um, so, overall, uh, I, I don't have any um, uh, monumental complaints about what's being considered here. I'm just disappointed. Um, I, I was hoping for something that was a bit uh, more imaginative, more creative, more energetic. Um, it, it really is feeling like the government is kind of ho-hum done it all and, uh, and can't quite think up new things that uh, they want to do. And for a number one bill that gets, is supposed to be getting all of this attention, it just doesn't feel very interesting. <laughs> um, and I'm sure it will be valuable and all of those things. I'm not knocking that. I'm, I guess I'm saying, is, is this the best you could do for a number one flagship bill? I mean, considering that Peter Lougheed's very first bill and his first uh, uh, time as, a, as a premier was the Human Rights Act. Um, and I think his second bill was repealing the Eugenics Act. I mean, big stuff, big thinking. <laughs> and, well, you know, I'm being kind of kidded by the, the uh, um, Minister of Education, but I, I think uh, he, he's right in that it's as though all the big thinking ideas have been done by this government and they're, they're finished. Uh, there isn't any more. Um, as I say, this isn't a bad bill. I mean, it's not a terrible thing. It's just not, you know, as somebody said, there was a brass band in here. Uh, for the, the reading of the throne speech and, and, uh, and the introduction of Bill 1. And it, it just seemed to tad over the top, <laughs> considering <laughs> the content of Bill 1, you know, for all the fanfare. And, um, you know, may, maybe a penny whistle would have been about the right level of hoo-ha to promote this bill. But other than that, it's just kind of... Nice, but not spectacular. And for Bill 1, I was expecting a bit more. Uh, you know, there are a lot of things that the minute this, this government could be doing. I mean, at one point, Bill 1 was the, um, the Cancer Foundation Act that the previous Premier, his legacy about the, the Cancer Foundation, and, you know, some much bigger ideas. And this just doesn't seem like a tremendous big idea. Well, I. Yeah, I think it can go there, but gee, guys, it's just... Okay. Well, I, I have managed to engage members on the other side, and that, of course, is my, my delight and my joy. And so I will take my seat and, uh, and allow some of the others to, um, now that I've engaged them, to get up and tell me what they, <laughs> tell me what they really think. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.